Hey everyone, this is Kitty Shanajmi here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I transformed these Walmart planters into these beautiful faux cement planters. So if you guys want to see how I did it, then keep on watching. I originally saw these planters on a YouTube video where the YouTuber painted them to be a pretty blue color. And when I saw the price, I was like, oh my god, like I have to get these. So they come in a two pack and cost $30 total, which is absolutely unheard of. Everywhere I go, they always cost like one would cost like $40 to $50. And this one had the texture and the shape that I was looking for. So I can actually dupe these planters that I saw on Pinterest. So these are cement planters and they cost a freaking fortune. So I'm going to try to make these Walmart planters look very, very similar to the cement planter and like literally half like not even half like quarter of the price so first thing i did was sand the planters a little bit using a 120 grit sandpaper to get the surface a little rough this helps the plants stick on the surface a little easier and then i use a lint-free cloth to wipe all the sand dust off Okay, so I picked up this gray spray paint originally from Home Depot and I thought this color resembled the picture I showed you guys earlier, but it was way too freaking dark and it had a blue undertone and I was looking for a much warmer, more of an orange undertone to match the cement color, so it did not work at all. Because I didn't want to spend extra money on buying another set of spray paint, I decided to mix some white and black chalk paint which I had on hand from a previous project. So for those of you who don't know what chalk paint is, it's a paint that gets adhered to any type of surface beautifully except glass. I never had really good luck with glass and it has a beautiful texture. Definitely try it out. Anyways, so I mixed it up until I ended up with a light gray color and did about three coats on each planter because somehow the dark spray paint color kept on bleeding through should have used a primer Now, here's the part that will make the planters look cement-like, adding different colors on top of the gray color. So the good thing about chalk paint is I can do this type of technique. So I'm using this Vax finish I had purchased a long time ago. I will link everything in the description box below for you guys to check out. So to give it a nice color, instead of buying different color waxes, I just added a color to it and it worked just fine. So I did the white wax finish first by mixing some of my white chalk paint and applying it onto the planter with my finger and then buff it out with a lint-free cloth. The buffing part is very important because that is how you achieve the nice wax finish. So I applied the wax in the middle of each pointy thing and then also on the rim. Once I liked the amount, I moved on to the second color. I wanted the second color to be brown because one of the components of concrete is sand. And sand has kind of like a dark brown color. So to achieve that, I used this chocolate brown acrylic paint and mixed it with the wax until I liked the color. Then I applied it on to the pointy things on the planters. Same thing, I used my finger to apply the paste first 
and then I used the lint-free cloth to buff it out. I kept on applying until I was satisfied with the intensity of the color. You can see now how cool it looks with all the different colors. Because concrete is not one color and to achieve the fog concrete finish, this color mixing was definitely necessary. I did let the wax dry between coats for about 20 to 30 minutes to avoid any over buffing. Once that was dried, the next day I used a matte waterproof sealer spray paint and did about two to three coats on each planter. I was surprised of how much spray paint was in one, so I only needed one of those for this project. I let the sealer dry and then I filled each planter with stones to make them, to make them a little heavy and it is also good for water drainage as well. Then I added my plans and then that's it. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and if you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. But again, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.